Hi, this is Frankie. Welcome to my video tutorial on MP3 Quickie. This is actually a MP3 voice recorder which is based on the commercial product MP3 recording applet SDK by vmas.com. So if you go to this website vmas.com slash mp3.php you will be able to download this and install it on our Moodle site. Now what I've done is I've actually um, improved upon the demo system. Uh, by the way, the demo actually only allows you to, allows me to uh, record a 20 second voice recording. So without further ado, let me uh, start. Now this here is my um, FileZilla FTP client, file transfer protocol client. And right now we're looking at a subfolder called Mihar. And inside the subfolder, sub subfolder actually contains two mp3 files. And uh, this uh, mp3 quickie is actually listing those two files over here. Okay, so very important is that you need to have a voice files subfolder in your Moodle folder. Now my Moodle main folder is SCM. Yours might probably be Moodle or Moodle 2.0 or Moodle 1.9. Uh, all depends. The other folder that you must have is the recorder folder. So this recorder folder contains all the system files and uh, PNG files as well as the applet itself. Okay, so let's move back to the Miha subfolder. Okay, now let me show you how this thing works. There are six icons, the record icon, the play icon, pause, stop, file upload, that's to upload the voice recorder to the server space. And then you've got the listen to the uh, saved mp3 files there. Okay, I'll, let's, uh, let's just make a recording. Hi, this is Frankie. Welcome to mp3 Quickie. Right now the status shows that it's recording my voice and I've so far recorded about 10 seconds out of maximum 20 seconds. So um, this is, that's why it's called a Quickie. So let me press the stop button. So when I press the stop button, status is stopped and the next logical thing to do is to upload but I can actually play back by clicking on the play button and it's actually so you can see it's actually playing back my voice and I can stop that and right now I'm just going to uh, change the file name from name to Frankie and I'm just going to show you another feature straight away Frankie says now what I've done is I've typed uh, two words Frankie space saves saves and I'm going to try to upload that the system will actually uh, strip off the space so that the file name consists of one contiguous word f with a dot extension mp3 so right now I'm uploading the voice file and here's another interesting thing that I did spend the whole day doing this this is in a JavaScript alert box and it says uh, that file has successfully been uploaded and this is very useful for you because this here is the embed code. You can actually highlight that with your mouse and then press Ctrl C. And what you can do with that is to embed that into a website, a blog or even your Moodle uh, web page or a Moodle label provided you choose the HTML mode. So I'm going to press OK. Okay, the proof of the pudding is in the eating, so let me refresh my FTP client and sure enough you should be able to see Frankie says .mp3, so there you go. The space has been, has been stripped, the file is, uh, has been created, has been stored, and let's see whether it exists. Yes, it has. It's there. So there are three files listed and it tallies with the server uh, voice files subfolder, sub subfolder called Miha. So that's how you can uh, actually use this thing. For those of you who are programmers or designers, I hope that you can improve upon my interface, probably uh, use more exciting fonts, put in a more exciting color, uh, spend the whole day um, modifying the, the original mp3 voice recorder from vmas.com and uh, this is my product. So hope you like it and hope you can use it for your Moodle site. Thank you very much. Bye.